I'm just a... Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCam footage. State police dropped it off this morning. Badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? Got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. Right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms, not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmailed would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utilek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I've made a deal with an ARC prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promised to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past ARC's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. But oh, damn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that lamp? No. I like my lamp. Keeps me honest. You ready to light out? Let's do this. Good. Strap in. pre-game ritual you've got there. You getting pissed enough to end this guy yet? I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. You got a preference? Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss.
Jensen. You still got all your parts together? I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? Housing Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me? I'm gonna switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. The cops showed up and beat some guy to death. Yes, it was horrible. Did he, you know, do anything? He gave them some attitude when they hassled him, but he was sick. He didn't deserve that. A police minority brutalizing an unarmed majority. That sounds familiar. What? What other lies have you come to tell me? I'm sorry to bother you, but I'm here to see Soko. He's expecting me. Which one? My husband, Dushan, or his foolish brother, Tibor? I guess it doesn't matter which one. The police took them both to the Narrows to torture them for information they do not have. It's been a rough day, especially here, I can see that. But maybe I can help. What happened? Like you care. My husband is gone. Tibor said he had a way of getting us out of Gollum City. A contact with... Wait. Who are you? I'm the contact. Then maybe there is a chance. There's always a chance. I'm sorry. Normally, they only take ARC members. Tibor is ARC. He has been taken before. But now, after the bombing, they come for Tibor. Dushan, he asks why, and then... They take my Dushan. He has done nothing. Nothing! Do you know where they were taken? I told you already. The Narrows! Instead of asking stupid questions, why don't you do something? Don't just stand there! They need help! Please!
Mr. Kane, we got a problem. Our contact's been swept up by the police. <laughs> I heard about cops in Gollum, Jensen. Your Interpol ID won't get you any kindness with them. That's all right. I didn't bring it with me. They're holding him in a place called the Narrows. I'll contact you after I find him. Brother, watch it. The cops are everywhere today. I noticed that. Are you Tibor? Yes, you're late, Interpol. I know. I spoke to your sister-in-law. She told me what happened. Adela, is she all right? It seems like she can take care of herself. Yes, she can. You know, you know I can't help you. It's too dangerous now. Tibor, I can get you out of here. And then what? They go back to my housing unit and take me again? And what if you're not there? No! No! Please, that will just make it worse. They know who I am, they... They went after my family. Interpol has promised to get you and your family out of here to safety. Safety? There is no safety. Only tyrants who prey on the weak and the innocent. All right, Tibor, listen. I understand why you can't come with me, but I still need to get to Rucker, or what happened to you and your family today will happen to others. I'll smooth it over with Interpol. Is there any other way you can help me? There's a man, a smuggler, Louis Galois. He imports items for Talos, Neuropocene, whiskey. He could get you in, but you'd have to do him a favor. He likes favors. That's something. Any other ideas? My keycard to get to Ark territory is gone. One of the cops took it. Probably still has it on him. Thanks, I'll look into it. Please. I know you don't owe me anything, but if you see my brother Dushan, help him. If anything happens to him, Adela will kill me. Of that, I have no doubt. I'll see what I can do. 
Shikane, get a message to Miller. Sokol's backed out of the deal. Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options on how to get into Ark on my own. Well, just be careful, Tinson. This arsehole obviously can't be trusted. Let me know when you're in. It doesn't matter if they're a grandmother or a schoolboy. If they have a log, they're a threat. Am I right? I was saying that before the incident. I can't believe they bomb our city and complain about their rights. Exactly. Rucker talks about Ogreites like they're a different race or something. Are their children born augmented? No, to hell with their rights. We should just get rid of all of them. And start questioning them soon. Do not let them see you waver. Granted.
Why am I not surprised? He's just looking after his family. Besides, it's not a complete wash. He gave me some options on how to get into Ark on my own. Well, just be careful, Jensen. This arsehole obviously can't be trusted. Let me know when you're in. Am I right? I was saying that before the incident. I can't believe they bomb our city and complain about their rights. Exactly. Rucker talks about us. Access granted. That is what I want to hear.
Come on, man, put that away. Those cops won't be a problem anymore. Too bad. I was just starting to warm up to them. I can try and get some more down here if that's what you want. No. It is better this happens now before I become too attached. You mind untying me? Sure. So, was it Tibor or Adela that asked you to help me? Or something else? Man getting savagely beaten isn't something I can just watch, regardless of the reason. Well, you know cops, right? Assholes do not need a reason. I do know cops, and whether it's right or wrong, there's always a reason. Look, all I know is that since the Ruzika bombing, the police have been cracking down on us hard. They suspect Ark, of course, but they're blaming every Og. For most of them, it's just another excuse to hurt us. I thought you weren't a member of ARK. My brother is. I just repair things for them sometimes. Heating units, security cameras. It is how I earn a living for my family. Do you know if ARK was responsible for the Ruzika bombing? No. And I do not want to know. After this, I am done with them. Being associated with ARK. Even if they are our only hope, it is not worth the pain. Look, you want to know what ARK is up to? You're going to have to ask them yourself. Fair enough. How do I do that? When you have robbed the man of all, the things... He is no longer the... He has no more of... Shit! Power? Something? Freedom? How does it go? Are you feeling all right? It is this week's passphrase. It is Selznick for Solzhenitsyn. Ah, I got it. When you rob a man of everything, he is no longer in your power. He is free again. Just remember the quote. It'll get you past Lubosh. He guards the way to the Ark Elevator. Just repeat the quote, and he will let you in. This'll help. Thank you. It is the least I can do. Thanks to you, I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. You heard about the bombing at the train station, right? Mr. Jensen, this is Otar Botkovere. I hear you are in the Utulek complex. Keeping tabs on me, Botkovelli? It is time for that favor you owe me. There is a shopkeeper named Galwa in the Sedri Market. I want you to eliminate him. I'm not in the assassination game. How you take care of this problem is your business, but I expect you to keep your word. You're suggesting, but I think you're suggesting. 
Yeah, well, Tibor almost certainly is. I took some kind of uh, passcode, a key card off him. I've got a good idea what it's for, too. And if it is, it proves he's armed. No, an elevator, useless to us. Unless we want to start a real war, which we don't. He's a small because fish, for sure. And the Shan, probably not even involved, but uh, well, let's not throw either back without getting something. Like I'm on the phone. He's a small fish, for sure. And the Shan, probably not even involved, but uh, let's not throw either back without getting something. Je to tady jak na skládce. Vy sem nepatříte. A nezastavujte se. Vystrašený kalbové, ale jinak dobrá práce. Kane, tell Miller the mission's back on track. I've got an elevator pass key that'll get me into Ark territory. Copy that. I'll do a flyby up ahead, get you the lay of the land. Hit me up when you're through. I made a mistake of going And some armed goons threatened me. Did you know how many times I've been wrong? Too many. Not anymore. If you people don't like the story, so just get rid of your orgs and you'll be welcomed back to civilized. I know. This is a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting any customers today, given the unpleasantness outside. Are you Louis Galois? I am. If this is a referral, may I ask which of my customers was impressed enough to recommend me? Tibor Sokol. Ah, poor Tibor. But how may I be of service? Let's talk about the Diwali crime family. Who are they? They're the people running organized crime in Prague. And their second in command is a man named Otar Bakavelli. Heard of him? No. I'm sorry, I haven't. Well, that's too bad. I was hoping you could tell me why he wants me to kill you. Shit! He wants me dead? Fuck, son of a bitch. Sounds like you're starting to remember him now. Yeah, yeah, Otar. He just slipped my mind for a moment. That's not the only thing slipping. Fine, smart guy. I work for Otar's boss, the head of the Diwali family, Radic Nikoladze. I spy on Otar's activities for Radic. Shit, I just realized the other Pachyan, Constantine, he died in the train station bombing. You're thinking Otar wants to get the second spy, you, out of the way and make a move against Radic. I'm sure he'd love that. Those two have had their own private Cold War going on for years. But still, getting rid of me and Constantine wouldn't be enough. Otar needs to gather more support in Prague and in Georgia. But he could do it. The only thing keeping him from consolidating his power is... Well, me? But you're not really planning to kill me, are you?
No, I draw the line at assassination for would-be mob bosses. Thank you. Thank you. What can I do to repay you? Name it. Anything. Vaclav Kohler. What's his connection to Radich? Wait, I can't tell you that. Radich would kill me. You said anything. Unless you'd prefer the alternative. Damn it. Okay. Radich, Kohler, and I have a trilateral arrangement. Radich has an augmented leg. You just became the fifth living person to know that. So, I get Radich his neuropazine, and Kohler maintains his leg. In return, Radich looks out for us. He's not doing a great job of that. You're lucky Otar sent me instead of somebody else. He won't stop with you either. I'd better get out of the country until this blows over. And I'll guess I'll have to retire the Louis Galois persona. Ah well, I had fun playing him. Next time, try it with a French accent. Might be more credible. One more thing. Tibor said you can get me into Ark territory without worrying about any guards. He's right. I'll unlock the security door at the back of this room. Beyond that, there's a ladder that'll take you where you want to go. All right, thanks. Is there any other way I can be of service? Perhaps you'd like to make a purchase and contribute to the Louis Galois escape fund. Let's see what you've got for sale. These are all the goods I have available. Certain? I'll be on my way for now. As you wish. But I hope to see you again. Machiavelli, it's Jensen. Your problem in the Udalek complex has been taken care of. Good. I look forward to hearing the details. But that will have to wait, because I have other urgent matters keeping me busy at the moment. shortly. There's something I can help you with. You're Lubosh, right? Dushin Sokol told me Ark might have the answers I'm looking for. He sent me to you. Dushin? I heard the police had him and his brother Tibor locked up in the Narrows. Yeah, the cops were working Dushin over pretty good when I found him. Wasn't exactly a fair fight, so I stepped in. Is he okay? He'll be fine. Looking forward to sleeping in his own bed tonight. Not a lot of people in here would be bothered to stop and help out a stranger. What was happening wasn't right. You took on the police by yourself, on their own turf? And then Dushin pointed me to you. He was right to do so, but I'm sure he would have given you something more. Some wisdom, maybe? When you've robbed a man of everything, 
He's no longer in your power. He's free again. Spoken like a true brother of the revolution. I think I even heard conviction in your voice. I'll unlock the elevator for you. Go on up. What can you tell me about Talos? First time I met him, he's cutting a bullet out of me while trying to explain the history of the Gulag. He has his hand stuck in my leg and is encouraging me to study Stalinist labor camps. Three months later, I pass him in the throat and he says, Lubosh, how's the leg? Are you studying the Gulag like I suggested? Remembered me like it was yesterday. Sounds like he has a good memory. No, I mattered to him. Me, a nobody, mattered to a great man like Talos Rucker. That's the kind of man he is. Great, thanks. the market, just like you said it would be. I got it, brothers. Now, let's see what we've got here. These little guys can be tricky. Every once in a while, one of them will go off, even if you... <laughs> Should've tried cutting the blue wire. If only life was that simple. You are lost, brother. It looks like you might have taken the wrong turn. You must be the welcoming committee. No. I am Marchenko. And Marchenko... He is more of a guardian. Like the hound at the gates of hell. Yes. I'm not real big on the classics. <laughs> that is a pity. What a man reads can tell you more about him than his face. Can I give you a little friendly advice? Sure. Go back. Go home. There is nothing for someone like you here. How do you figure that? You don't know me. I know this place up ahead. We call it the Throat. And sometimes those get cut, yes? When outsiders come wandering in where they should not. I'll take my chances. I just want to see where Ark hides out. We are not hiding from anyone. Tell that to the cops down below. Do not listen to police and all their bullshit about Ark. Those Luputia pricks are everywhere. Breaking heads, making their mess. And we have to deal with it. Better wash yourself. They won't go easy on you either. Leash or no leash. It's not right what the police are doing. Someone has to stand up to them. Is that you? Because it takes a lot to step out of line and answer back. And once you do, there is no return. Not everyone has the courage to take up the fight. You make it sound like you're in a war. It is a war. On us. On every augmented human. You see that, don't you? There is a moment coming, and it will be soon, when all of us will have to choose a side. Anyone who does not will just be in the way. And that... Could get them killed. I thought Ark was about preserving human rights, not advocating armed revolt. Here and now, brother, it is the same thing. What you're talking about, that's terrorism. 
Easy. I thought we were just two men having a conversation, discussing the issues of the day. Like your friend Rucker? I see him on the net. He feel the same way you do? Ah, yes. Talos. He is a good man. Strong, intelligent, principled. You could learn a lot from him. I admit he's got a way about him. He talks and people listen. But is that enough? He is no politician, if that is what you mean. Rucker gave up an easy life for our cause. He lives the struggle, just like the rest of us. I respect anyone with principles, but in my experience, that doesn't get you much when the storm comes down. Well, as much as a political debate stimulates me, you are pushing my patience, and I have work to do. You have had your warning. Get out of here, while you still can. If that was your recruitment speech, I gotta tell you, it sucked. The way I see it, after the bombing, tide's turning against you. Ark has made itself public enemy number one. <laughs> yes, it may seem that way. For now. Until then. Sergey! Be careful in there, Shiny. Huh? Nasty rumors of a wrench getting scratches on his finish will scare the tourists away. Ah, yes. We'll be seeing you. Chicane, patch me through to Miller. Give him a message. Patch you through. What am I, your fucking secretary now? Jensen, I thought you were back on track. I am. But I need you to run a name through ILANC. Victor Marchenko. Got a feeling about this guy. Fine. But remember, you're there for Rucker. If he's behind these attacks, everyone else will fall in line. 